From all the art galleries and exhibits we've been to, or the many artists that we have met, we know that most of their works are a testimony of the human condition. Truly, how we perceive our world can be expressed through art. Whether we know it or not, traditions, beliefs, and values all shine forth through what artists craft and present. Inside our Filipino homes, art pieces have become more than just ornaments. They are symbols of faith, love for self, and even the country. These are the very same things that inspire the works of Marge Organo, a Filipina glass artist. She sculpts the connection of the Filipino culture through her colorful and lustrous pieces. Several of Marge Organo's works are religious glass sculptures, delicate, captivating pieces such as the Santo Niño and Crucifix, much like the ones we see on the altar of our Filipino homes. Just imagine how dramatic these Santo Niños will look as it catches the light streaming through the window. All these are a product of Marge's faith that traces back when she visited the shrine of the Holy Infant Jesus in Prague. Some pieces celebrate women. Marge presents nature and essence, the beauty and form of women through the lines and rich, vibrant colors of these sculptures. These are about women in general, but are also about Marge herself being a mother, grandmother, and an artist. A Marge Organo glass sculpture is always personal, even deeply rooted to her as a pure Filipino. With the colors of the flag, this recent piece of hers is meant to reflect patriotism, especially with the recent election events in the country. Marge's chosen medium is not as easy as paint and paintbrush. She uses optical glass, the same kind that is used for eyeglasses, cameras, and telescope lenses. These have a very high refractive index. That's why when shaped and properly polished, they're as brilliant as a diamond. Well, glass, it's, it's really a very difficult medium. Number one, it's very heavy. If you, if you hold it, it's really heavy, that's why it's called, usually it's, it's, it's a male artist um, medium. And, and then also um, glass has to be, it has to go through all these stages of polishing because when you cut glass, it's, it, it becomes opaque. So it takes a lot of effort to make it as brilliant as it is right now. You have to really um, put all, so much energy on it and um, of course I can do it by myself, but because it's very labor intensive and very uh, tedious, I employ uh, helpers so that um, I can work faster and I can work on multiple projects at the same time. Her recent exhibit in Gallery Joaquin was entitled Par Excellence and featured 30 of her outstanding works. Indeed, it is a celebration of the splendor of life, her life, and so it was only fitting that her artist reception also served as a get-together for her birthday. Um, this is a reflection of um, life, my second life actually. Um, life for me is, um, is happy, colorful, so if you look at my works now, you see all sorts of colors. I like to express my happiness and uh, the life that I'm, I'm living right now as a um, colorful and happy life. That's what it is. When beholding a Marge Organa glass sculpture, you first have to admire it. Then look closer and see the fine details, the fusion of colors. From there, you can begin to relate to it. What does it mean to you? With her use of such a delicate medium, Marge's glass sculpture displays strength, but are still graceful. 
universal symbols guiding her audience on her own unique journeys.